Hello everyone, Sea Lion. I'm bringing you some more Orcs Must Die today. We have Chaos Chamber, so let's go ahead and load that one up. Ooh, we've unlocked Weavers. Now these are a fun little thing. They're basically kind of passive effects that add, I'll show you when we get in, but they add, you know, to your trap power or your spell damage or attack damage. They make your guardians stronger. They're very useful things and you really want to get using them every level basically. As we get the level to load, do do do. There we go. Now this is the start of Act Two, as we see from this uh, video clip. But I'm going to skip that. I may upload all the video clips later to YouTube. Uh, I'm sure they're already on YouTube somewhere. But because there's no in-game audio, you're just going to be watching uh, video footage. Not that interesting. So as far as things go, we have a cool statue here that does absolutely nothing. We have the single rift, and if we go up this way, we have a door here, all the way there, and then I'm going to go through this portal. We have a door down, nope, back to the rift, door must be the other way. Yes, it is, door's that way. So very interesting. Again, you're relying on portals. Now, on the minimap, it looks like they're the same, but they're different levels. So, as you can see, if I go through the portal, it changes the colouring. So, obviously, one's dulled out. That's the one I'm not at. So, basically, you want to keep them, kill them all before here, focus killing them before they get here, and then you can just jump between portals. Same with this one. You want to focus on killing them before they get here, and you just want to jump between portal to portal. So, just wondering which one they come out through first. Probably this one. I hope so. Alright, so we'll go ahead and open the spell book. We have, we'll go the wind belt, spike trap, tar trap, extended arrow wall, archers, barricades. We'll go the push trap again because there is lava. I could probably use that. Okay, so we got orc warrior, kobold runners, the very fast guys. We have crossbow orcs and the ogres. And then the new guy, very annoying, no hunter. He's very tough to kill, and he's going to hunt you down. He will go straight for you. Very fast. Very hard to deal with. So, he does make it definitely a lot harder. As far as this goes, I'm just going to set up some arrow traps on this side to get us going. I will um, probably want some push traps, actually, as well. Push them into the lava general area. Um, we'll put one there. I like to space these out so as groups kind of build up. I should probably put some barricades here, force them to kind of go closer. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So we'll unleash the horde. Obviously, I didn't use all my money. I do want to save some of it for the the other side. So we'll do that. There you go. They're going to push off. So I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. That's that's going to do fine. Kill these guys. Now, I'm going to quickly open up the weavers here. We'll pause the game. So, you unlock two weavers to start with. You have the elemental weaver. This is kind of kind of focused on your elemental skills, your spells. As you can see, you gain flame crossbow, holy sword, so you're doing more damage. Mana, your spell costs are cheaper. Fireball, I see. All this is kind of spell-based. And... Uh, Basically, yeah, basically spell-based stuff. Spell-based, damage-based, so if you're the guy who likes getting in there, fighting, you're not relying on your traps too much, you want to use that. As for the Steel Weaver, it's more improvements for Guardian, Trap and Guardian improvements. This one, improvements for player weapons and spells. So you got the Death Augmenter, you get more money when things are killed by traps. You've got Guardian Armor, making them stronger. Traps re are resetting faster. That's time traps, so that's always good to have. Physics traps can also affect ogres. I was talking about that before. You got checkered steel, cutting traps at bleed, and then that's a upgrade for your archers. They gain flame arrows, so they can hurt more. And paladins stun enemies. That's very important when we do get paladins. They're basically melee fighters. You've seen them in a few levels, but we haven't actually unlocked them. As far as choosing them go, you can only choose one per level. So I'm going to go with the Steel Weaver this way, game, this level, and I'm going to get this so that I'm getting extra money when these orcs die from traps. So I'll kill these guys because they're not going to die from a trap. There you go. 
Those guys getting killed back there. Cobalt runners. So, and then as you can see, so 66% more, and then I need this one to unlock these two, I need that one to unlock those two, that one, and it's all costing money. It's all costing money. Everything in life costs money. Nothing's for free. So we'll do that, and we'll place another one. I think they might come through the other door. Yeah, they're coming through the other door. So I'm going to just rely on my ability here. So I will put that there. So as you can see, I'm getting 25 when I kill them with a trap compared to f only 15 when I kill them. So obviously extra 10 money if they die to a trap. So I'm going to take care of this. Now they are coming through the other door. No, sorry, they aren't. They're still just coming through this door. It's still being nice to us. Happy about that. So I'm just going to use the wind belt here. Get, put them in the lava. A lot quicker. Easy kills. And they will slowly die in there. Okay, easy level. So I'm just going to obviously focus on traps on this side. I've already got plenty of traps on the other side. So we'll go them. Get some wall things. Like I said, I do like to separate them a little. So I'll put that there. Now they're breaking through at the other side. I can hear the traps going off as well. So, Oh, here we go. We have our first Null Hunter. Very fast. I'm going to let him get to me, and you can see how much damage he does. As you can see, hits me twice. I am at half health, and he also slows you. I'm moving slowed, as you can see there. Now there's one coming through the other door as well. Here he is. So it's the same way to deal with the ogres. You just want to stun them. If I can hit the stun, I'll knock him away, because he's getting a little bit too close there. He's going to get back up shortly. There he goes. So I'm just going to stun him and kill him. As you can see, they are quite difficult. And imagine... They were by themselves, but imagine them when you've got 50 orcs coming at you as well, and an ogre. It gets pretty hectic. Pretty hectic. Now, I'm going to put some slow traps down. That's just going to give me some extra time, and that's the best place to put them, because I only have to put two there to slow them, whereas here I'm going to have to place three. So I'm going to go do that on the other side too. I'm only going to be able to afford one. So I'll just put one there for now, and then I will unleash the horde. Put you down there. So I'm just going to go back to our weavers. Obviously that one's not going to be much use to me, this one. I'm not using guardians heavily. It is very good if you do have a lot of guardians. I mean increased health and they regenerate health as you know, as they take damage. But I'm going to go for this one, oiled grease traps, because all time traps reset 20% faster. So that's going to make your arrow rolls reset faster. You push traps, you spike traps. So that's 1500. So I'm going to try save up 1500 and pick that up. So let's go ahead and unleash the horde. So I see them coming through the other door. Let's go up there. Let's deal with these guys. Now, because i got the upgrade, I really want the traps to do most of the killing here because I am getting extra money when traps are doing it. So I'm going to let traps do it as much as possible and I'm only going to kill them when they come up here because I do want that extra money. It's going to come in handy. Let's see if I can stun them. Kill what's left. And especially because I'm in no rush, nothing's coming through the other door, so there's no need to kill these guys quickly and move on. If there was stuff coming through the other door, I wouldn't care. I would just crossbow everything. But since there isn't, I'm going to let my traps do as much of the killing as possible. Get that extra money. And that's going to help me unlock that weaver thing that I pointed out before. If I can kill this guy. There we go. I'm going to buy it now. I can afford it. So, accept. All that's gone, so I don't have much money left. I'm going to go put that tar trap on the other door that I was going to do originally. Just give me that extra slow as stuff comes through. And they're breaking through this door, so here we go. So, five or nine were up to here, so quite a few, quite a few waves. Nothing too serious. As you can see, if you set up your traps properly, you don't really have to worry too much on these levels. It's all about thinking. Obviously, you want to think about what's going to be the best. Generally, you're either going to get it right or very wrong, and heaps of stuff's going to break through. But as you get better and better at the game, obviously, you will realize what traps work well together, what traps work well in different situations, what traps work well when comboed together. I will, I will, of course, show you guys some of that do do some of that. I do combo a lot of traps together and I do combine a lot of traps. But it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun to figure it out for yourself. So I'm not going to show you every single possibility. There are plenty of guides like that 
available on YouTube and on the web that show you heaps of different ways to do every level. I could replay this level and do it a completely different way. And that's the fun of the game. You can do the level so many different ways that you can replay it and do, and do it a completely different way and still succeed. Because there are simply so many traps. Ooh, a gold coin. Yay! There's simply so many traps. So I'm just going to go some spike traps. I'm just going to put it on every... Oops, stuff's breaking through up there. Better get up there. Did I say breaking through or getting destroyed by my traps? I didn't really want that there. Oh, well. Oop. We have a null hunter. Going to take care of him. And then I'm going to go quickly, quickly, quickly. Uh, I'm pretty sure no one has made it to the rift on the other side. He's about to hit it. No, luckily because I swapped sides, he came back for me. So I'm just going to retreat. There is something breaking through on the other side towards the rift, so I'm just going to meet him on that side. As you can see, I got hit. And then that happens. Ah, it's just a little orc. You're not getting to the rift. You're not getting the rift. You've got no chance. So as you can see, got a little bit of hectic there. I really hadn't spent all my money, and so there was a lot of gaps for stuff to come through. And I paid for it. Obviously, I didn't lose any rift points because I'm on top of it. I'm watching the minimap. But that could have easily turned pretty ugly there. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need more traps. More traps. Uh, spike traps. Spike traps. So we've got spike traps up. Let's unleash. Oh, I want some slow traps. We're going to put some slow traps. Not really anywhere. Let's put some more spike traps then. Spike trap, spike trap. Let's unleash the horde. Both sides. So I'm going to concentrate on killing what I can quickly. And then letting the traps do with the rest. So quickly kill this side. Weaken this side. And I'm just going to sprint. Traps can deal with what I've left there. Go through here. Kill everything on this side. Obviously, not much hope. Gonna use my spike traps here as well. Too many traps, they just do not stand a chance against me. Destroyed. And that is another level done. So, nothing too difficult there. Mm, I might upgrade my weaver now. So I've got all physics traps that are stronger and also affect ogres. Not really what I'm after. Piercing and cutting traps add a bleed effect. That's what I want. I have a lot of spike traps. I'm going to go for that one. Let's get that added bleed effect going. Let's do some more damage to these orcs. These poor, poor orcs. Sometimes I feel bad for them, but not really. So, other side, just... A little bit of wave of uh, Kobold Runners. I don't expect any of them to get through this side. Not with all those spike traps. Oh, sneaky little things. I don't know how you made it through them. But, obviously cheating. Okay, these guys will die. All these spike traps don't stand a chance. Oh, oh, you're too fast for my traps, are you? Too fast for my traps, they are. Oh, back to the other side. So this is just... Kind of, you have to pay attention. They're just testing that you are watching that mini map, knowing when they're coming through. And that's just an easy cobalt wave, that one. That was just to make sure you're awake, pretty much. So we've got the final wave here. So that's more spike traps. I'm not too worried. Everything's set up. We should be okay. So they're coming through the other side first. What do we got? Ogre. So I'm going to quickly deal with this ogre. I want to take him out as quickly as possible while also taking out all of this stuff so if I lead him this way get him hurt by all those spike traps and a null hunter so very deadly combination these two ogre can stun you, null hunters does a lot of damage to you I'm going to pick up this coin, I won't worry about that coin don't really need it, I'm just going to go this side deal with this ogre so as you can see, no hunters. I'm just going to try stun them both. Although I'm out of energy and slowed. There we go. I'm just going to throw that no hunter back so I can just deal with this ogre. Don't want to deal with the no hunter at the same time. 
This guy's going to get up, stun him. He's dead. Pick up that potion. Check out that side. Ooh, we've got a Cobalt Runner getting through. Got to stop you. You're not getting in my rift. So we'll go back to this side. Make sure everything's just dying. This is probably all that's left in the wave. Just these Cobalt Runners. They are dead. Oh, no. Still coming, still coming. As you can see, the waves are starting to get longer. There are a lot more Orcs. So... I think that might be the end now. Ah, oh, hello. I'll let this guy think he's going to make it, and then I'll just kill him. And that's the end of that level. So we've finished yet another level of the Sorks Must Die. Probably five skulls, no reason not to. Did not let anything through. I believe I did it in a reasonable amount of time. I sure did. Look at the stats. Under par by about a minute and a half. Obviously didn't lose any rift points. So that ends this episode of Walks Must Die. Feel free to leave a comment, rate it for me, and if you're looking forward to the rest of the series, subscribe.